The following is Rita Chai. Viewer discretion is advised. What is the Jewish stance nowadays across denominations on masturbation and across gender as well? Clearly the rabbis had a dim view of this, and this is where all of this comes from. Dim because the lights were shut? Y or? Because you go blind. Um, oh, right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Notice he's wearing glasses. The, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Here are my palms. And they really felt that it was potentially wasting potential life every time you would waste seed. It comes from the Jewish view of the sanctity of life. It doesn't come from any negative feelings about sexuality. While liberal denominations have definitely realized that this is a healthy part about growing up, a lot of orthodoxy still has, you know, very negative associations with this. But, you know, I used to teach high school and I remember uh, one of the principals of the school I was teaching at was having a small seminar for us and somebody brought this up because teenage boys, you know, this is the number one pastime more than Xbox. He said something really fascinating. He was like, Judaism is a platonic ideal that we all strive to, but that doesn't mean that you should beat yourself up if you fail and so, so to or speak. Off. Yes. Ellie. I've heard rabbis go and say, well, if masturbation is part of healthy sexuality, getting to know your body better, how your body reacts to touch and to, you know, pleasure, then maybe masturbation in teenage boys is part of the healthy um, sexuality that develops into adulthood. Where, where it comes from is that the Jewish sex ethic assumes that sex is an act of generosity to another person. And of course, this, there's a sexual experience with one's own body and understanding one's own body and one's own pleasure is part of that. The spilling of seed, this onanism that you refer to, is really only a problem um, when it happens on one's own. But there's a lot of conversation around um, if the man ejaculates outside of the woman's body, but in the course of a sexual act with the partner. That's not wasting seed. That's actually in the context of a great mitzvah. Mitzvah is a positive commandment, something God wants us to do. God wants people to have sex. The Jewish assumption is that those people are married to each other, but regardless, God wants people to have sex. I believe. And, and I believe! Back to the seed. <laughs> I'm curious, because if the conception was that the woman also gave seed, then when it came to female masturbation, do we still have this issue of wasting seed? What was their notion of seed? Great question. Um, there is no halachic problem with female masturbation. On this note, quickly, what is the Jewish view on pornography and the use of it towards a relationship? It comes into a problem because there's definitely an issue about seeing nudity in a non-spousal context. But there's also the other tension of, well, if that's something that is going to, you know, bring a couple together and turn them on. Um, I don't think yet you will find an Orthodox rabbi that will tell you, oh, absolutely, you should watch pornography. No doubt yeah. I will sign off on it. But what if but it's a self-tape? A selfie? Uh, what, what, what do you guys call it? A zelby? A knock it to zelby. Yeah. Orthodox pornography is, you know, from the wrist down. You know, <laughs> that's, um, it's really that's interesting. Hot it's hot stuff. Um, but, but you should see what they do with it. Foreplay.